Today on Movie Feuds, I battle one of my toughest guest hosts yet. Someone I fear and despise equally. A vile, tricksy individual, capable of sucking the life right out of me. That's nice, Adam. My wife, Lindsay. Oscar winner Tom Hanks and three-time Santa Claus performer Tim Allen head up the roster in Toy Story, playing both Woody and Buzz Lightyear. Unlike my wife and I, you can tell these two actors have perfect chemistry together. They play off each other wonderfully. From Slither to Lego Movie, Elizabeth Banks shows her fantastic acting range, playing one of the lead characters, Wild Style. She has probably 50 films under her belt, and you reference Slither for the seven fans out there watching this. Are you finished? Yes, dear. The rest of this large lineup includes Morgan Freeman, Chris Pratt from my favorite TV show, Parks and Rec, Jonah Hill, Dave Franco, Liam Neeson, and of course, the best looking Lego of the bunch, Channing Tatum as Superman. And last but not least, Will Arnett, who plays Batman, and he did a fantastic job. Listen, it's great to have a bunch of uh, well-known actors in your film, but it's what you do with them that counts. I will say this though, Allison Brie's Unikitty is awesome. Everything is awesome in the Lego movie. Toy Story certainly has the best villain. Oh wait, there isn't one. Not in the traditional sense, no. But our villain here takes many forms, much like Sauron or a woman. Jealous, threatening, deceitful, insane, doesn't wash the dishes in a timely manner, so when I get home from a hard day's work and see him piling up, I lose my shit. What, what the hell are we talking about? Will Ferrell's character, Lord Business, is an amazing bad guy, using all the big corporate tactics to brainwash the masses. Let me handle this. That idea is just the worst. This is what it all really comes down to, folks. That driving factor that can make or break any film. Lego Movie has a serviceable story with a drawn out finale, but Toy Story is on a whole other playing field. You know you've done a fantastic job as a filmmaker when you can get your audience to relate to, sympathize, and care for CGI toys. Toy Story is magical, it's wonderful, it's heartwarming, it's what my wife's cookies intended to be like before they went into the oven. And not just burnt pieces of shit. You can say all of that for the Lego movie as well. Except now with much, much better effects, voice work, and pretty much everything else. You want to talk heartwarming, the end of the movie, Will Ferrell's character, Lord Business, is nothing more than the reflection of a child's father. In fact, I think you were choking up during that scene in the theater, Adam. <laughs> no. No, I wasn't. I have been chosen. Farewell, my friends. Oh. Toy Story started a new generation, a new medium of filmmaking, and we need to respect the hell out of that. I don't think there's a single person out there that doesn't like Toy Story, but it's been over a decade now. The effects are clearly dated in Toy Story 1, and it's harder to get away with that all these years later. As far as action goes, was there any in Toy Story? Were computers even capable of rendering action scenes yet? There's plenty of good action sequences. We got the flight of Buzz Lightyear. We got that crazy little bastard child destroying toys in the backyard. We have the infamous claw sequence. The claw. That's spot on. Lego Movie has a ton of cool action. We have slow motion battles, fast building mechanics, pirate ships, a Millennium Falcon, and superhero fights. Today, Randy Newman may be a bit played out, but there is no denying how perfect he was for the Toy Story soundtrack. Songs like Strange Things and You've Got a Friend in Me are the most notable of the pack. And what does Lego Movie bring to the table? Everything is awesome? Listen, I love the Lonely Island Boys, but that song is atrociously annoying. The song does exactly what it's supposed to do in the Lego Movie, and that's just one of the many different songs sprinkled throughout the movie. We get some Star Wars callbacks and a great Double Dare reference. The sound of bricks snapping into place is all the music one really needs. Mr. Newman, play us out.
Toy Story was great, but the baton has been handed over. And the carriers are a ragtag team of construction workers, superheroes, wizards, basketball players, and anything the Lego team can imagine up. Well, Lindsay, I'd like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come by and feud with me. Unfortunately, it was all for nothing. The Lego movie was good. There's no denying that. But it's out of its league here. This is more than just reviews. This is movie feuds.